Wonderful. Well, I'd love to to start and just congratulate you on your ASC award nomination. Thank you. Thanks. It's really exciting. Really cool. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to to kind of start at the beginning of how you got brought on to Winning Time and what it was like to come on uh, for this episode uh, to this established show and how you kind of, you know, had a chance to make it your own. I was brought on by the um, the great Todd Van Hazel, a dear friend of mine from our days in film school together, uh, both cinematographers at the American Film Institute and just friends. We, we bonded. He's such a warm heart and such a filmmaker in the truest sense. He has so much empathy and love and care, and he brings that to like everything he does. Um, certainly as a cinematographer, uh, you all, he's a member of of the ASC and I'm sure anyone else who knows him knows that he he just cares so deeply and he cares about this craft and he cares about you know storytelling and so I've been I told him in the past you know it wasn't a total it wouldn't be a total surprise to me if he ended up directing someday it's just it was sort of a natural extension of his his vision but also just his empathy like it, there's there's a certain talent to directing and part of that is communicating with um these empathetic uh uh people known as actors that's what they do so well and todd has that so i think he communicates in their in their language as well as communicating in ours so you know todd created the look of the show and the world of this show with a lot of his um incredible uh a lot of the, the team that started the pilot and the team that carried the show forward and when he got the opportunity to direct, um, he wanted to work with someone that he felt comfortable with and someone he believed would honor the show and would, you know, just be there to uh, bring great ideas, but also support him. And so that, that was the impetus. That was the beginning of it. Um, and what was such a joy when I finally read the episode was that it did the episode, the episode in particular, gave us this um, incredible opportunity to add to the quilt that is the sort of visual, you know, uh, world of Winning Time, mm -hmm. which was Larry Bird's past. You know, we flash back to see basically his origin story, and I wouldn't call it a bottle episode, but it definitely gives us that um, those uh, flashback moments that are completely unique to the show. In this case, a big part of what we were able to um, bring to the show in this episode was uh, a 255 uh, CinemaScope presentation shot in, was shot with anamorphic lenses from Panavision, two of them, a 16 mil and a 50 mil. Mm -hmm. And we did all of Larry Bird's past um, in that format. And uh, along with that, we got a, at eight millimeter, um, there's a lot of eight millimeter on the show yeah. film. And we were able to uh, secure a anamorphic adapter or lens. It's not an adapter, but it's a lens for Pro 8's um, Max Gate. And so we were also able to shoot in the style of the show, uh, you know, cutting in between the color and black and white photography and eight mil. Uh, it, with this anamorphic format. So we were able to bring both of those things to to Larry's, um, you know, uh, storyline uh, in this episode. And that was really the uniqueness. So we developed a Kodachrome LUT for his past, it, sort of to be the visual counterbalance to the Ektachrome LUT that is the sort of main uh, LUT, show LUT for Winning Time, that Todd developed as a way to sort of speak to the commercial 80s photography at the time that was flashy and very showtime. And we kind of were like, well, what's the, what's the other side of that? And that was uh, consumer ectochrome. And that was kind of our guiding principle. Is there, you know, anything in particular about using uh, this anamorphic process for this episode that stands out as a particular challenge or something that you're just very excited with how uh, you were able to film it? I think the challenge was in um, there only being two lenses to 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 sort of operate off of. Uh, we we knew that going in, uh, but it was a uh, it seemed appropriate. Everything about <clears throat> you know Larry Bird's uh, past is sort of this. We kind of 
gave it this tall tale. We infused it with this idea of a tall tale kind of meets a spaghetti Western. You know, you have a character who most tall tales involve some kind of tragedy. And that is very much Larry's, you know, upbringing, uh, you know, with his father, which we, we sort of, which we show in the episode. Um, and then it creates this sort of anti-hero who um, kind of becomes this like lovable salt of the earth hero. And there's this something in that in the Westerns that we loved. So we really referenced, we really drew from that. And in the sort of tall tale Americana side, we very much, very much looked at uh, Superman, the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, a movie that's shot, you know, uh, it was anamorphic and in, you know, 239 and that scope, having that really just felt appropriate. And then, you know, a lot of our the spaghetti Westerns we love are also shot, you know, in, in this aspect ratio. So it all felt right. And then that sort of finding out that the, also the texture of 16, getting that grain, uh, just against really just sort of countered what was happening uh, with the main storyline, you know, the spherical 35s. Uh, so it just felt right. And then having two lenses was like, oh, Larry just feels like this, it's like, it'd be hard for him. <laughs> you know, everything was like, everything for him was, was actually quite difficult to get to where he was in his career by, by the eighties. And so it, it just kind of felt appropriate that we'd have this little um, challenge on our shoulders in, in photographing his, um, in his, his, his story. The second coming, which is the title of the episode, the third episode that I shot, um, doesn't have a ton of the uh, basketball, the the fun, uh, incredible work that 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 the Todd did and John Matishak and even and and Darren did um, mm. in their episodes. So the challenge for us and the real focus was how do we create a visual language for Larry's past that we can then easily uh, bring to the present. And uh, the sort of button on that was in the final scene of our episode, we recreate a shot from one of the first scenes we find with Larry. And that crane shot that comes over his family um, barn, his home in French Lick, um, cranes down, follows a car. Uh, and we are shooting that, we shot that 16 uh, anamorphic. And then the tail end of the series, uh, uh, the episode, when we come, when Larry comes back as a, as a champion, as an NBA champion, we sort of replicate that shot, just kind of bringing those two pieces together. And as we push in to uh, his boot coming out of the taxi cab, which sort of felt in the end, this heroic uh, sort of epic, but also still very spaghetti and, and you know, the boot coming out of the, the, the yeah. thing. We, we pushed past our, our two, 255 map uh, into the show, bringing Larry to the present um, mm -hmm. as, a, as a winner and coming back to his home as, as a whole new person. But it sort of brought brings you back to um, the show at by the end, and we get to sort of see that visual journey and that language come to its conclusion by the end of the episode. And so that was our challenge. Really, was just how do we tell Larry how? Because it's not a whole episode that just follows Larry's past. We come in and out, come in and out with the story in the in the main timeline. So that was the challenge. How do we really quickly? Um, give pathos and humanity to this character that up to this point has just been a villain in the show, sort of a foil to the Lakers and Jerry Buss and Magic Johnson. So that, that I'm so proud of uh, that work. I'm also proud of what we did in the main timeline. Um, but, but I think in this episode specifically, I think telling that visual story and the choices we made were, were both bold. Um, and I think, think in line with the characters. They, it wasn't just for the sake of shooting anamorphic. It was to try to ground it to the character and, 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 and give it some humanity. Right. Very intentional. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, I think that's such an exciting thing about the show overall is being able to play with how format can really inform the story and move it forward both emotionally and just even subtly, like, I love that, like, okay, now we're going back by moving past the mat at the end. Um, yeah, that's uh, really interesting. Uh, so what's it like to be nominated for an ASC award for your work on Winning Time? Uh, I really wish I could sit here and say that when I found out, I was just like, of course, uh, uh, the work is amazing. And it is, I'm so proud of, of, of what we did. And, um, 
but it was it was a yeah it was a really big surprise and it was also incredibly humbling and i was you know i was beside myself i wasn't even really sure it was real i i mean i would be lying if i didn't say i thought that um that that it was kind of like uh like oh you got nominated and um someone was pulling my leg but i it's i've read you know ac magazine since i was introduced to it by my cousin in high school in a tiny little border town in south texas the, the a lot of and i would go to his his house and i would take those magazines home and i would read them yeah. um and i just uh you know a lot of the folks who will be in that room are people i've been who have i have admired for years so to be uh to know that i'll be in their company as a nominee was as a, it was a bucket list kind of check mark and um but also just really satisfying you know this the journey of of being an um an artist and being a filmmaker is hard and there's you know there's a lot of um there's a lot of milestones along the way but you often sort of lose sight of them and you're just kind of what's 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 the next thing i just need to pour myself into something and mm -hmm. um sometimes it's nice to to stop and be reminded that you you did do good work in this in this thing that you've already done so this was um yeah really humbling an incredible honor and something that i've uh thought was possible but i just i didn't think was possible now so this is this is really gratifying it's it's um it's really amazing to have Todd be the director of this episode as well, who's an ASC member. And uh, I, I don't think it's a total coincidence that this episode uh, uh, did find a nomination because you you had two really visual people sort of at the helm of the episode. And we really fought hard for the choices that we made um, and, uh, you know, cared very, very deeply uh, in creating and crafting this one episode. Um, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm overjoyed and uh, and extremely grateful to to the ASC and uh, and to Todd for for bringing me on and seeing that um, you know together we could we could make something special.